the DJ back here again with you about to show you how to do some stencil artwork so first of all go to Google stencil art actually I'm gonna do a uh, stencil girl and this is the one that I've just done right here so you'll just grab it drag it down into your iPhoto or wherever you store your photos you can see I already have it here so we're gonna not drag it because I've already done that so you can see right here then you'll simply go and print it out take it to a Kinko's or something like that and put it on a thicker card stock which I'll show you right about now this is the printed out version and took that to Kinko's and had them blow it up to that size right there so we're gonna go ahead and get to cutting out all of the black on this so the white will stay intact you're gonna cut out all of the black and every once in a while you have to be a little bit tricky with it because of course you are getting stencils off of the internet so sometimes you gotta be a little bit tricky with where the white and black go to be able to keep the pieces you need to make a good stencil this one looks like mostly I'm just gonna have to cut out the black I'm not gonna have to do any kind of craziness so uh, let's go ahead and set up the tripod and get started cutting. As you can see I have a uh, fairly large FedEx box so I don't cut my table a nice sharp exacto knife to cut all that out so let's go ahead and get started
There she is, completely cut out. Put her on my bed on a gray sheet so you can see the whole cut out. And I have to say, it took a little bit of time. I'd say on and off, maybe an hour or so to cut the whole thing out. There she is. Right there is the uh, first one I've done this way. Uh, spray this canvas down with the, uh, the same FedEx box so I don't get it all over the grass. This is an old painting that I started and uh, I'm just going to paint over it because I never really did anything with it. So I think this is a 12 by 16 canvas and we're going to spray it red. And you can see I have my glove on so I don't get it all over my hands. The red didn't cover up all this black all the way, so I'm gonna go with some some gray. So that pretty much covered it up. Sprinkle some white in there. Tiny splash of black. There she is so far. It's gonna be the backdrop. Don't forget to spray your edges. It's pretty much dry now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and layer on there. It's good to have it a little bit tacky still, because then it'll uh, kind of stick to the paint a little bit. But don't have it completely wet, because then you'll pull the paint off. I also just uh, covered up this little bit of the edge that wasn't covered up by the paper so it doesn't get any green on that. Here we go. We're going to start out with some olive green first. Green's done. Just sprinkle a little black in there. layer. We're going to put some red over top of that. Very wet right now. 